Chiefs at the Bills. For only the fifth time since the merger, two teams with eight or more wins meeting week 11 or earlier, the Chiefs are 9-0, and and they find a way every week to win. The Bills have, have pushed their record to 8-2. and two. They're favored by two points, but here's the caveat. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes is 11-3 and three straight up in his career as an underdog, including when they were road dogs against the 49ers week seven. One and a half points, they won that game. Do the Chiefs, Christopher David Sims, son of a steak feeding to the Fox <laughs> group of parents, Big do the Chiefs, <laughs> do the Chiefs get to 10-0? and 0? I'm going to say yes, they do. That's what I'm, I'm going to go, and, and here's, here's my reasons a little bit. One, I think the, the Chiefs, even though they don't run the ball great, and we know they're better with Isaiah Pacheco at running back, I think they're, they're going to be able to run it enough. And it's a, as I always talk about in Buffalo, a defensive front that's not always the biggest and stoutest against the bigger, better offensive lines in football. I think that's where they've come into problems against the top tier of teams in the league. I think that that they'll be concerned enough with that, that that's going to force their defense into some issues. Plus, with that, they're not a very good man-to-man team. They're a zone football team. And when you play zone, it's just too hard to stop the the Kansas City Chiefs, kind of like what we saw in the divisional game last year in the playoffs where the Chiefs were underdogs in Buffalo. There's just holes everywhere. And when you play that much zone all the time and do that, Andy Reid and Nagy, they know how to stress or separate certain parts of that zone and get somebody to sit in there to where Travis Kelsey's in the end zone by himself, giving Taylor Smith and and his brother heart emojis as he's scoring touchdowns wide open. That's what I worry about. And then the other side of the ball, here is what I worry about too. Buffalo is definitely more formidable on the offense side this year. Running, pass protect better. They got a few more weapons, but... I don't. As I sit here on a Thursday morning, Keon Coleman and Amari Cooper are kind of iffy as far as their status for the football game. Let alone, I think that the Chiefs got guys that can cover them man to man and do stuff like that, and then stop Josh Allen from running and scrambling and doing that. I'm going to take the Chiefs on the road. I'm not sure they're a better team than the Bills, but I think they match up better in this moment right here. 24-20, Kansas City. I think you got the name of one of the most famous people in the word world, word, world, whatever. They know who we mean wrong. You said Taylor Smith. I oh, think. I might have. I might have. I was going fast. I was flying there. But yeah, Taylor Swift, heart emoji, and maybe my favorite part of last season when Jason Kelsey had his shirt off in Buffalo and was yelling out the press box and like just screaming and some girl next to him was banging the glass going, F- yeah, <laughs> that was my favorite part of the year. <laughs> Kristen, Kristen is going to have to work overtime. Today Lots just of work to clean for Kristen to do. All the f bombs from this one. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple of factors, real world factors. Real that world, I think. Okay, we'll come into this. Like things unrelated to the X's and O's. You're yeah. good with the X's and O's, and I'd like to think I'm good with understanding. You are how momentum Pasta, works, psychology, meatball, psychology, and this and that. Exactly. Yes, right. And it's all it's all hewn by fifty years of watching these things happen because the patterns repeat themselves just like they do in the stock market and in business. The patterns repeat themselves. So number one, the bills don't need this game. The bills do not need this game. The chiefs need this game to further the three things they're trying to do, whether they'll admit it to anyone or not. Number one, 21 straight wins, the all time record set by the 2003, 2004 Patriots. Number two, 17 and 0 on way to 20 and 0, which has never been done. And number three, Three straight Super Bowl wins, which has never been done. The Bills don't need this. The Chiefs do. And the Chiefs are inevitable. Until someone beats the Chiefs, each week, the fact that the Chiefs keep pulling a rabbit out of their ass makes them feel confident that they're going to find a rabbit in there when they need to. (laughs) And the other team is going to start thinking at the end of the game, here it f***ing comes. What color is that rabbit up their ass? Here it comes. We don't (laughs) We, we don't probably brown. We don't know how. <laughs> we don't know when. We don't know where. But those bastards are going to beat us. So 24-23, Chiefs over the Bills. Yo, yo, homies. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's time. The NFL season is here on Chris Sims Unbuttoned. You can hit subscribe to get all the weekly picks, plus our Sunday recaps as the games are happening. Oh, you know it. Nobody does that better than us. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. We'll see you next time on Unbuttoned.